if we are still living in a democracy, in democratic countries, by now, you know, as the Ghai constitution had stated that we should have a caretaker government, first of all. You know, so no one has got an undue, unfair advantage. No political party has it. We begin with that. So campaigning has started. So it's in the interest of all of us, and it's good governance, it's integrity, it's honesty to have a caretaker. In most countries, they would have, in a, a lot of countries, they have a caretaker government in place, you know, and they run the country with the civil servants. In lieu of that, the AYAS constitution got rid of that caretaker part of it. You know, a lot of things they got rid of from the Kai constitution. Um, and so in lieu of that, what we're calling upon government to do now is to let the civil servants run the country till elections. You know, that's again good governance, good development. Uh, and stop using government resources because electioneering has already started. And I also question the motive of World Bank. Why now, pre-election? You know, so why now? And, and so, so they should stop doing that, stop using government resources to doing what they are. They, stop, sh they should stop giving freebies, stop promising people what they're going to do for them and uh, uh, telling them how much they have spent on them. And things. I mean, they can talk about those things, but they can no longer go around giving out things. They should not be doing that, using government coffers. They should be using their own campaign money to do that. Let the civil servants run the place. Because this government is also very, um, very sensitive around criticism. You know, and things, you generally know it, we all know it, and so on. So if you're sensitive and you don't, well, you want all the bad talk to stop people criticizing you, then you do these things, you know, if we are still living in a democracy. Uh, so we want free and fair elections. We want manifestos definitely to be based on democracy, rule of law, uh, human rights, good governance, and we want good economic policies. From what we are seeing, Sashi can add on, from what we are saying, we have really gone down in every aspect. You know, we have lost that old, uh, you know, the Fijian way of life kind of thing, you know, so we've lost all of that. So we want people to have robust manifestos that include all these things, good policy, economic policies, health policies, all those things, you know. No. In fact, the opposite of what is happening now. And no, don't promise the earth. I think that we cannot. No political party can promise the earth. What we need, what they need to do is to say, how are we going to get out of this where we are now? And, you know, and how people need to be understanding about it is going to happen. But you know, integrity, I think, is the main thing for me, for parties to have. We ourselves want to develop a general manifesto, just putting down some, uh, some pointers and some basic principles of good governance that we want to, this is underway, some of us are going to get together to do that so that we can give it out to all political parties, including the governing party, the Fiji First Party, so all of them. So they include some of this if they don't already have and encouraging them to have uh, you know, these things as the, uh, as the pivot. But, uh, but definitely we know that no party can promise the world. And it's not about giving you five bridges here and four roads there and uh, this uh, uh, triple lane, whatever, in Nasese, which was perfectly good road that could have been you know, paved nicely for the people and so on. Not promising them all that kind of thing. Not creating a paperless society. For goodness sake, we are in Fiji, you know, and we have to li live within that reality of it. We do not want a Singapore. You know? It's a different culture, it's a different place, it's different resources, it's different economically, and so on. So we don't want that. We want a Fiji where everyone can you know, live together. We really want to, uh, uh, we really want to see more resources into education, health, mm. those kind of places, you know, alleviating poverty. And, and you know, not just by giving what, $360 every now and then, plop that in, or FNPF and so on. We want policies, we want a, a, you know, a development that is sustainable, mm -hmm. and not just this one-off freebies. Because you know, we, we keep giving all these packages, then all of a sudden, 
we'll have a lull period. The lull period is when people get the 360 or whatever, whatever amount, all of a sudden it falls in their lap. And I'm sure some are some about to fall very soon in their lap. So we'll have a lull period. Then that is done with. That is finished. Then we start again. You know, there's no sustainability in that kind of uh, freebies.